Hello and welcome again. Uh, in our previous video, we were able to look at uh, handling of the uh, static files. Uh, and specifically, we were able to create the static uh, folder in our project. And uh, we were able to uh, also configure or install the white noise uh, third party library. And uh, we were able to run the collect all the static files using the uh, collect static command. And uh, in this tutorial, we are going to look at uh, how can we handle user uploaded files. Or the, uh, let's say if you have an image, for example, in our blog post, uh, I, I want us to uh, be able to add a header image. So this header image means that it will be uploaded somewhere in our website. And uh, if you look at the Django documentation, uh, specifically, we are going to be using the image field. Okay. So the image field you're going to handle, that's the one that is going to handle the header image. And uh, you can also use it to uh, upload some uh, files uh, like PDFs and, and uh, what have you. So the first step, uh, we will be using a library called Pillow. And uh, Pillow, uh, uh, it's kind of borrowed from the Python imaging library. And uh, the first step is that we are going to install it because without it, we may not be able to handle the, the uh, image files. And even Django itself is going to throw an error, uh, you know, requiring us to uh, deal with it. So I'm going to look for the. I like making references to the cheese shop. So I'm going to install uh, Pillow. Uh, this version. Uh, remember, as usual, we are going to install it inside our container. Uh, so we have uh, Docker Compose exec container name. Then we use pbanf install. Right. So I don't know if it's okay, sensitive. To just put it that way. So we are going to give it some time to do the installation. Okay, so as usual, we have to stop our container and uh, rebuild. So we're going to use Docker Compose down. And Docker Compose up. And I'll build. So after some few minutes or some few some few seconds, we have been able to perform the rebuild. And uh, the next step will be configuring our settings.py uh, file. But before that, let me just go to the Jaco documentation, whereby we have these the media root and the media URL. So as you can see, Django stores file locally using these two files. And these are the user uploaded uh, files. So we have, uh, one pro, uh, one uh, parameter or one a variable that we are going to define, which is the media root, and uh, this is the absolute file path to the directory that will hold those user uploaded files. In this case, the header images for the blog post, and uh, the media URL is also something that we will also define here, and uh, it handles the media sub from this media root, and uh, it is also used in managing the stored files. And as you can see, it says that it must end in a uh, slash. So we will begin with this uh, media uh, media URL. We are going to add it in our settings of UI file, which is inside the project uh, folder. And I'm going to define it below the static. Okay. So just say user uploaded uploaded content. And uh, we have the media URL, uh, which in this case will be equals to uh, media. And uh, we'll also add the media root. It should also be uh, the media root will be inside the base direct, the base folder. We'll call it me media. So this means that now we need to create this base directory. It is this directory that holds our, our uh, 
our files and as you can see even for the static files we defined it inside the, this uh, this directory that's why we have the static folder so we are just going to create our media uh, directory i'll just call it media it was standard practice but you can name it uh, whatever you please and then inside the media uh, directory i'm going to create uh, the uh, folder called header uh, this one will take care of the header for header images for our blog posts. Okay. And uh, the other step will be configuring the URLs.py. So this has been highlighted in the documentation for Django. So this assumes that uh, user uploaded content exists in our production setting. So inside the our URLs.py, uh, uh, inside the project URLs.py, we are going to add the uh, inside our imports. We are also going to import the settings as a first step. So we have from django.conf uh, import should be conf import uh, settings, and then after we import our sorry, not settings, but should, we should import the static uh, from the configuration dot static rest static uh, import uh, static and then let's see where we are going to use this so inside our urls uh, url patterns uh, we're just going to add uh, uh, something here and then we Begin with static, and then we'll take care of settings dot media. I think we should also import our settings of our settings from Django dot on conf dot urls. It should be dot conf import uh, settings. Uh, so we have settings.media uh, URL and then uh, we also have another parameter which is document uh, underscore root so it will be the root file which will point to the root of the uh, document uh, the root of the media files so after adding this now we can be able to handle our media uh, URLs. And uh, now the other step now will be going to the, remember in our models, that we, uh, in our previous tutorial, uh, the models, we have a field that we commented out, which is the header called the header image. And uh, it is an image field. So this image field takes care of the images and it has uh, one of its, uh, parameters are upload to. So where is it going to upload to? This is where we've created this header uh, directory. So it will take care of this. Another thing to remember is that whenever you change the model, whenever you change the model, you need to uh, run the make, mig uh, make migrations in order to update the uh, scheme. So let's proceed with that. That will be our next step. So we'll do a Docker Compose Execute this command. It's in the web container. It's Python manage Python manage dot py uh, make migrations make migrations and yeah. So you can see it has added the header image field and yeah, maybe to confirm that you can check on this. See, we have another third uh, migration which is the header header image okay and it is an image field so having done that we will uh, run migrate uh, migrate and it has uh, we have been able to uh, take care of it uh, if you we had not added the something worth mentioning blank 
we have blank is equals to false. If we, we had set uh, null is equals to false, we, it may have resulted to an issue because I, we have already existing blog posts and they do not have a header uh, header image. Okay. So the other thing we will update, uh, let's look at our, I believe we have a form somewhere. Oh, this is a contact form. Uh, forget it. We have a, the view. Let's see what our view comprises of. So the view, you have the blog create, and you have fields. So inside these fields, we need to add the header uh, image. So from the models, I'll just copy this and put it inside the fields because so far we have, uh, when you're creating a blog post, you're adding a title, body, category, and status. So I can probably add this inside the double quotes here. So it will be able to handle the, the image, the header image. Um, we can also add it inside the, the update so that whenever you want to update your blog posts, you can as well update the header image. And uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else that we need to look at. So I believe this should work. And let's now go to our blog, which is running here. You can do a refresh. And uh, we have our already existing blog posts. And uh, I first of all need to log in. I'm not sure if I can remember my login details, but let's just try. Yeah, so I've been able to log in. And then inside this article, we can click on edit. Oh, uh, and I think there's something in the code that I need to probably check. And this is the permissions. Uh, log update view, surfaces test. Anyway, let me try creating a new blog post. You see now we have a header image, okay. And uh, we can choose some image from somewhere. Uh, let me start with the title. I can call it some blog posts. And then for the image, I can uh, probably get some image somewhere. Pictures. So not to have any image. Uh, let me look for an image. And uh, when you're working with images, you should be careful of the copyrights. So, so save this image. I'll save it on my desktop. Okay, so I've been able to save it. So I'm just going to choose that image from the desktop. So whenever I place, you see now we have this title of the image here side and uh, can probably put some let me set it as a heading this is, you can call it some I'm going to try again uh, let me just put it I'll call it some head some blog post yeah and then probably copy some text from somewhere. So maybe paste it here. Actually it has arranged itself in a table of sorts. So category I can put it as other, then I can set it as published and then I can click on submit. Yeah, so we have an issue. It says that this field is required. Why is that? already selected it okay so i think i know the problem where the problem arises from here yeah? so if you go to the django forms api documentation we have this uh, step where you bind your uploaded files to a form and uh, inside this form uh, we need to add this uh, enc type uh, which points in our case it will be form data but it will be uh, Multi-part, yeah. multi-part uh, form data. 
actually it's actually shown here so in order to upload files you need to make sure the form element correctly defines these uh this type so i'll just copy this and i'm going to add it in, in my template and the template that we are working on remember we are uploading a new we are creating a new blog post so we have the about blog article create so we are this is a template that we are using in this uh, when you are creating this uh, blog post so we are going to add that inside the form there and we're going to save and i think i'm going to refresh yeah so let me choose my file and uh yeah let's submit as you can see now it has submitted okay and uh, it does not look very well here as it's arranged yeah so we have uploaded our files of our content uh, don't worry about this html we had already escaped them it's because i copied them inside the file uh, directly so now we cannot see the image so we need to add that image inside the display for the post so we are going to go into the template and as you can see something has happened here it has uh, actually it has created a folder called headers this one I created. Uh, actually, it has created on its own, and you can see this is the image that it has uploaded. And uh, we do, now, for us to see it in the web page, we need to click on uh, the blog uh, blog article uh, the article view. Okay, and uh, inside the article view, we will add. Actually, I had commented it out. Uh, this, this, we need to add the uh, image, an image uh, placeholder, and you have this post.headerimage.url. So notice this URL is, is uh, what we are looking at. So let's save and uh, let's view our article. Seems not to show. Uh, okay. So we have our actually it should not be post, it should be blog article. Remember this blog article, we are getting it from the view. Uh, where we have the blog detail view, this context object name is the one that we are using. So we have to stick to that so i'll replace the post with the blog article uh, dot header dot image URL. so you can see we have our header image and then we have the post here yeah so i'm going to make some changes so that it looks kind of neat uh, yeah but we have been able to uh, add our media files and you have seen how we can be able to incorporate media files inside our uh, website using uh, the pillow and maybe configuring the models.py and the settings.py file. So if you like this video, kindly drop a like and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, if you like my content. And uh, don't forget to click the thumbs, uh, the the notification bell icon, so that whenever I upload content, you can be able to uh, view or you can be able to get a notification. So one thing, let me just open this blog post inside a new page. You can see that the path is co uh, corresponding to the media headers uh, directory and the file name. Yeah. So thank you for watching.